Jyoti Mai Department of Biology. Today we are we are to know about the production of wool. So generally you know the wool is extracted from and the previous was I told you from sheep, goat, camel and from yak. Generally from India we make it of these for uh, extraction of food. So sheep generally the famous type is merino sheep. Merino sheep generally when you are extracting wool, your first duty to ex uh, choose of a breed which is good to extract wool here. The special breed to be selected. So merino sheep is a uh, breed which gives the highest wool here. And other than merino sheep, and the one more is also there uh, is goat known angora. Generally, angora goat, not only goat, we also choose angora rabbit. Rabbit, goat, both of them to get hay from a wool. Wool is something but it's a hay which is extracted from animal. Okay, with a light upper layer of skin, with a upper layer of skin, and the hair is removed from the body. That wool, that hair we call wool. So generally we take it from merino sheep, angora goat, and as well as from camel. There are normal camel, but majorly we specifically look it about llama and alpaca, along with the act. Majorly act is find find in Tibet, and merino angora are famously in a uh, cold areas like uh, Jammu and Kashmir, and the camel, llama, and alpaca in the other cold areas in the foreign countries. So in a different areas, in the cold areas, majorly these animals are great. And why we get this food? Specifically to protect our ourselves from cold. Majorly in the winter, we wear sweaters, sweaters, shawls, mufflers. These all are made up of wool, which protect us from coolness. Okay, and keeps our body hot and warm. So that it is a good uh, indicator and uh, it, uh, wool is extracted. And this wool, how we extract it from different species, I will tell you now. So we have seen only some of the species, but even in India also, there are some selective species to get wool. In that, the first type of species we look at, okay? So specifically, some of them are here, desi breeds belong to India. So they are Loki, uh, this is very good quality, available in Rajasthan and Punjab. And the next one breed is Rangpur Bushai. And this is available in uh, UP and MP in Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. Actually, the fleece of this uh, uh, Rangpur is brown in color. And the next one is Nari. It's used for carpet, majorly it's known carpet wool. It's available in Rajasthan and Haryana. You know, Haryana carpets, specifically, made up of Nari. And uh, Bakarwal is a uh, woolen shorts, generally. You know, uh, Angora goat uh, from the Angora goat are Pashmina. We extract the wool for making shorts, but they are so expensive. Generally, normal shorts are made up of these Bakarwal uh, wool, and generally they are grown in Jammu and Kashmir. Next, Marwari is a uh, coarse wool, generally in Gujarat it is available. And uh, Patanwari is a uh, Hazari is a uh, generally available in Gujarat. So these are the wools are specifically used to make different fabrics. Okay. But any wool or any sheep what we are wearing, how we extract wool from them, that we look at one by one process wise. So we see the uh, production of wool and uh, one by one step wise. Okay. So then how we extract wool? So generally the wool is extracted by the first process called sheep. She is actually known uh, generally your father, pair, your father, when he shaved, shaved right, with the help of razor, uh, play, cream, and they shave it, uh, sorry, they shave it, like uh, for, from a sheep or goat also, they shear it, then the processes of shearing, removal of hair, the removal of hair, from a body of an animal is known shearing. So when they do shearing, generally shearing done in a season of spring. So most of the people think that it is in summer, not summer, not in a rainy, not in a winter. In a 
called spring season because in summer generally you get in a cold areas already the temperature is too low if they shield the hair from the body then they won't get protection from cold if they shield it in summer they won't get protection from hot in spring season if they shield it then by the time of summer they get little hair on the body so that they can protect themselves so spring season is the best season for shearing hair okay so generally how they shear it with a knife or a, with a scissor how they shear it that how they remove it most of the people think that they remove skin in it no no they won't remove skin just by the top layer of skin they shear it okay by the help of a razor generally electrical razors are available with the help of the electrical razor from the body of a sheep they remove the hair but before going to remove the hair they apply grease on it to uh, remove the hair fleece free in manner so generally without any causing hurt to the animal so for that they apply first grease on the body complete body later they shield it and the um, hair which is removed from the body later they scour it scour it scouring is nothing but washing they wash the wool why wool is to be washed to remove the grease before i told you and the shearing they apply grease on it the grease should be removed so that they take wool and they wash it under the streaming water the heavy stream pair heavy streaming there they put this wool with the help of paddle and they clean it and they apply some chemicals on it to remove the complete grease and later after washing it properly and to remove dirt even on hair dirt dust is present so and also some uh, twigs or uh, some uh, leaves may be present on it to remove that all they wash it under the running water the process of washing under the running water is known scour okay and after scouring they take that wool directly to the fan from where the cool air is passing so if they put under the cool air then the hair of the wool or the wool gets dry and as well as it becomes softer so that the why what is the reason they dry it under the cool air the only one reason need to cool uh, need to dry it under the cool air to make wool soft okay after they put complete wool in a area and they start separating wool as per the size some wool is in a lot size and some of them are in small size some of them are in cut like there is maybe damage all these they separate the separation of wool is known based on the size is known sorting sorting is nothing but separation of wool what is separation of wool from the uh, uh, from that area they separate the wool so later they arrange it as per the size okay and that later the bleach they apply bleaching powder to it they bleach why they do bleach to kill bacteria some other harmful microorganisms present on the hair so to remove that and to kill that bacteria and harmful microorganisms they apply bleaching to it later after bleaching to it they dye it dye it is something but Colors. They give different colors. You know, uh, you get colorful yarn outside. Woolen balls. If you ask for woolen balls, they give you green, pink, light pink, blue, like red, green, like different color woolen we get outside. The different colors we get by dyeing. Later, coloring to the fiber. Later, they comb it neatly. Combing is also known carding. With the help of the comb, they neatly comb the hair. After combing, they twin one by one. They twin and they twist. They roll and they twist and 
and make a long yarn. The process of making long yarn by rolling and twisting is not spinning. By the process of spinning, they make a long yarn. And this yarn, they roll out the bundles. And that bundle is in a fancy store is anywhere if you ask. They give you pulling bundles, right? And with the help of needle, your grandparents or your parents or your mother, majorly they knit it. With the help of needles or needing, knitting needle, with that they knit the cloth like the make sweaters or sorry mufflers, sweaters and the different type of cloths, okay. That we do it with the help of yarn, okay. The small pieces of fiber they arrange, they roll and do it twist and make a long yarn. After coloring, they do it. Okay, same colored one, they roll and they make a long yarn. Then they roll as a small bundles. The bundles are used make it for making for sweaters and sweaters and mufflers and for different purposes. The nowadays people are wearing woolen sacks, woolen dresses in them. Okay. So why we need to wear? To protect ourselves from cool. Okay. Now look. After making yarn, they go with a process of weaving and knitting. Then we have to look at what is the difference between weaving and knitting. Whether these two are same or different. Now we look at. Okay. So in a weaving, we look at the western wrap threads are in the block. They take wet and wrap thread and they both interlock these threads. By interlocking these threads, they may they weave woolen cloth or woolen fabric. Generally for these weaving, they make use of power looms. And also one more hand looms. This too. But in a knitting, they take a single fiber and single yarn. That yarn, the help of needles, they knot it. They knot like a ring. They knot it and they make fabric. So see, it is the process of making fabric by using knitting needles. What they use? Knitting needles. And they interlock the loops of rings of single yarn. Only the single yarn they take, uh, only that single yarn they interlock it as a ring. They interlock as a ring and they make long fabric. Like a weaving of a, sorry, knitting of a mufflers, masks, some of the people knit it even uh, sweaters also. So, by this way, we get final in stage woolen fabric. So, first we need to shear from uh, an animal. And later we need to wash it. After we need to separate the wool as for the size. And later we need to bleach it with the bleaching to kill uh, any harmful microorganisms are present. And later we need to color it and it will comb properly. After we need to roll it and twist by the process of spinning, we make a long yarn. By using of the yarn, uh, by the help of our human hand loom, with ten brackets are arranged and interlocked to make fabric. If not, knitting needle also can be used by knotting the uh, by knotting a single arm can be used as with the help of uh, uh, needle they knot it and they make a long fiber sorry fabric and by this way we get woolen fabric and this woolen fabric generally used in our cool areas even in Thalangana also we make use. And apart from the sheep, even from goat, from camel, llama, yak also the same procedure, they extract wool. Even from bear, from angora goat also, angora sheep also, angora rabbit also we get wool. And also from fur. That fur is used not only for making uh, fabric, not only for sides, cloths, sweaters and not only for that. Even to make dolls, you know, take bear. Are outside we get some fur containing uh, dolls are made up of this wool. Do you understand? So generally extraction of wool and 
medicine is a greatest uh, technique but the people those who are working in that uh, wool and silk industry they face different problems majorly they face a problem that we look at what is the problem so the occupational hazard how it causes danger in the extraction of wool or silk generally on extraction of wool or silk on the body a bacteria is present and which causes a disease known as anthrax bacillus anthracis is a bacteria which causes anthrax disease generally this anthrax disease we find in sorters who are working in that to sort the skin to get the skin to get the leather in them in those uh, people generally we find the disease so that it is also known sorters disease and in these diseases the people they struggle with the uh, struggle from lung disorder if not skin disorder if not intestinal problems sometimes we get also so first of all they can be bacteria they lung get damage if not skin get damage or intestinal tract get damage due to the damage of these parts in the body the people who are working in this uh, area will die to reduce that uh, most of the give vaccination to the animals even we people are also vaccinated for it if the people are struggling with the anthrax can be taken medication and uh, vaccination by this way we can cure it okay so we get beautiful results we wear but along with that there is a problem we get uh, people get this in on anthrax so in this lesson we learn what is the how we extract silk and what is wool what is the production of wool and uh, in the next class main next year we will look at about uh, chemical fibers you know chemical fibers which are extracted in synthetic fibers which are extracted in industries are uh, majorly rayon nylon polyester and uh, uh, and more um, acrylic are the major chemical five fibers fabric fibers are used for making fabric that uh, we will look at in next class okay students thank you have a nice day i hope you enjoy so chemical synthetic fibers uh, you will know about in your 8th class so for this 7th class just you know the production of uh, fiber from animals Okay students bye